And you know, today should be a happy day. We have, it seems, reason to celebrate. We have, it seems, reason to think that we are free. Sort of reminds me of the one about the man who turned 102. And at his birthday party, his friend asked him, do you think you'll make it to 103? And he said, of course I will. Because statistically speaking, there are very few people who die between 102 and 103. <laughs> <laughs> But we all know a lot of people die before that. And we all know a lot of churches die before they make it to where we are. But that doesn't mean we are as free as we think we are. There is a different kind of debt that we have not yet paid. There is, there is a crack in the foundation of this church. And I'm not talking about the building. I'm talking about something like Isaiah talks about. Isaiah 30, verses 12 and 13. Because you have rejected this word, this word, that's God's word he's talking about, and relied on oppression and depended on deceit, this sin will become for you like a high wall, cracked and bulging, whose collapse comes suddenly in an instant. There is a crack. And if we don't fix that crack, it doesn't matter how solid this building is, we will crumble and we will fall in on ourselves. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that crack and we're going to talk about what we have to do to save ourselves from collapse. <laughs> 